The next part that we're going to make is the front portion of the car. Now, the front portion of the car has most of the essential dimensions that you need, or I'm sorry, the front portion of the truck that you'll need. Uh, for example, the width, the height of the profile view, and it has the minor details, um, as well as the details for this uh, cutout section right here that you need in order to be able to complete this. However, it does not include dimensions for areas like this. So it gives you a little a little room to kind of customize the way the front of your uh, truck's going to look. You could um, try to mimic this as close as possible or you could um, kind of make it your own. So as I'm going through this, mine is not going to look exactly like it. Um, every year I make this, it changes slightly. So uh, we'll go through uh, start the sketch, choose your XY plane, and the first thing that we're going to be starting off with is a rectangle. So we're going to be doing a profile view, and I'm just using the rectangle as a boundary for this uh, particular shape. So I know that it's going to go 1.6 this direction, and the second direction going up, it has a height of 1.53. So you should have a, uh, a workspace like this to work with. Um, I know that, like I said, you've got this unique profile view, but yours will probably be slightly different. So I'm going to use, again, this is a guide. So first thing I'm going to do is, um, I guess I could use the construction tool and I'll make some points. I'm just going to place the construction line and I accidentally could, uh, placed a, a rectangle. So we're going to place a line using the construction line tool and... Um, I'll place another line here, or I could even place points if I wanted to. I'm just kind of using these as areas where I might make some changes. I'm going to dimension this point away from here, and it's at 1.38. Uh, let's go ahead and change it to 1.4. And this one is, let me make sure I actually hit the uh, line at the top, but this one is not the correct dimension so let's try this one more time 1.255 so let's just set it to I don't know 1.2 it goes up a little bit and then I'm going to unselect the construction tool a construction line tool and I'm just going to use the arc this area down here is kind of rounded and if you zoom in really close it even has like a little lip to it so I think I might try to duplicate that lip so I'm going to zoom in and right here and I'm going to kind of make a little bit of an arc and then I think a little bit of a straight line right here make sure it's going up and then I'm going to use the arc tool again and this time I'll go from I don't know here to here and I want to make sure I actually got that intersection so I've got kind of a very uh, not exactly like but it is similar to what you see in the image it's a little bit different and then I've got to do this top portion now there are no specific measurements for the rounded edges so um, what I tend to do with this one is I might use the arc tool to go from I don't know here to here and give it a slight arc and then maybe use a straight line an angle like this and then let's see I could even arc down to that next one so like I said yours will probably be a little bit different than mine unless you do exactly like I did and I'll change this arc a little bit we don't want it to be it's kind of hard to see I don't want it to be past this measurement right here so I, I have a profile right now Next thing I can do is I can get rid of these lines. I no longer need them. And then this one down here I can trim. But I should have, if I go to this point right here, a dimension of 1.60. So I still have my 1.60. And I have something that kind of resembles the profile view right here. And like I said, yours may be a little bit different. But I'm going to go ahead and finish the sketch. And I'm going to extrude this. And based on the dimensions that they give me, 
the extrusion is 3.17. So I'm going to extrude this symmetric in both directions, set it to 3.17, and hit OK. And then I'm going to hit my home view. I'm actually going to set this as my home view. And I, I kind of have something to work with here. It's not, it's not perfect, and it's not exactly like what we have up here. Mine maybe has less of an arc, and I could adjust that if I wanted to, and you could adjust that if you wanted to. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and look at the next portion. And we do have some uh, rounded edges on this. There are some fillets on this. But the first thing before I do that is I'm going to make the cutout on the back portion. Now this cutout matches the cutout on the front section. So again, 2.40, 0 0.93. So we're going to go ahead and go to the back side and start the sketch. First thing that we'll do with this one is we'll turn the construction lines on and I'm going to uh, basically create my center point for this cutout. I do, this. do the same thing with this side. And then I'm going to turn my construction lines off. I'm going to make a rectangle, but I want to make sure it's a two point center. And then I'm going to pull the dimensions from here, and again, 2.40.93. So 2.40.93. So I have my cutout exactly in the middle. Finish my sketch, extrude, set it to cut, and I believe the distance again was 0.57. We're gonna hit OK, and I cut out that portion. So I, I have the front of the car so far um, it's starting to come along slowly. We have the cutout section. The next thing that we're going to be creating on that is we can either do the fillets or we can do like the headlight portion or the whole cutouts on the side. Now since I have lots of things that I need to fill it on this one and I didn't fill it the inside right here, we'll go ahead and do the fillets for first for this. Um, the fillets for the inside portion right here are 0.20. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my fillet tool, set it to 0 0.20, or 0.2. And I'm going to hit these corners. And I can actually see the corners through. Um, if you have to rotate your camera to see it, that's fine. But I'm going to get those inside the edges. And on mine specifically, I want this part as well as this part. And I'm going to hit OK. So I rounded off those edges a little bit. Next thing that I'm going to do is fill it again. But this time, I'm going to set it to 0.3, and I want to get this edge as well as this edge, and I'm going to hit OK. And depending on how you drew it, your edges might be slightly different. You might get errors, so you might have to adjust, adjust the um, adjust the fillet. Uh, but if you did it like pretty close to mine, you shouldn't have any issues with it. So once you have that, you can actually do uh, I don't know. You could do the wheel portion. Uh, next, I also want to make sure that I round these bottom edges too. So the 0.3 fill that I'm using there is a little bit too big. 0.2 uh, is a little big. And 0.1 is giving me uh, a little more uh, room to work with. So I'm going to fill up these bottom edges to 0.1. And then I'm again going to place my circle on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and place my uh, cutout for this. And based on the dimensions that they give me, I have a 0.35 circle. And I'm just going to place it 0.35. And you could drill this circle with the whole tool. So you could place a point there as well. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and use circle tool and extrude it. And I am going to dimension this a certain distance from this edge, which is uh, 0.5 and a distance from here to here, which is 0.3. So I have my circle. I'm going to go ahead and finish that. And I'm going to set the extrude tool and set it to cut. And the distance for this one has a depth. I'm sorry. The depth is 0.35. So I'm going to set that to 0.35. I actually have to go back into my sketch and I have to adjust the dimension for this to 0.29. So it should be like that. So I'm going to hit finish. 
and it should update that. So I have the hole on there. I'm going to go ahead and put a plane. I'm sorry, plane like this, and I'm going to select this edge. So I'm going to plane in the middle again, and I'm just going to again mirror this feature right here onto the other side. And hit OK. So I have that portion uh, mirrored right there. I could get rid of this plane if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to put another plane right here on the front on the XY like this. So I want to go ahead and I'm going to turn the visibility for this one off. Choose plane. XY. And then I'm actually going to select that portion that I want it at. And see if I can actually get it to select. Um, I don't really want it there. Let's do this instead. Let's go ahead and do an offset. And we're going to click here. We're going to offset this plane so that it goes to the front. The front of the car again was 0 .1, uh, 1 1.60. So 1.60. And we're actually going to set it to negative. So that way it's exactly on the front. And I'm going to use that to uh, cut out my light portion uh, for the car. Actually, what I'll do is let's adjust this plane. And we're going to set it to 1.60. And then we could do, let's just set it to negative 0.60. And I'm going to hit OK. This is how far back my light's going to go when I create them. So the lights on the front will be created in the next video. So once you have that done, go ahead and save that part. And then in the second section, we will uh, make the lights for it.